So when you look up at the stars tonight, consider this. There are also many human-made satellites in space monitoring what we do and transmitting signals to make communication possible on planet Earth. Today, a significant development for South Africa. Elon Musk's SpaceX Transporter 3 mission launched just an hour ago. Three South African nano satellites on board to help monitor our seas. The launch really successful. And to discuss this, I'm joined now by Dr. Phil Mjwaka, Director General of the Science and Technology Department. Good evening, Doctor. So, how do you feel after the launch? Very, very, very happy, Sally. I'm very proud to be a South African, but uh, good evening to you and the viewers. Absolutely wonderful to watch as well. Quite special. Um, it's a first for us here in South Africa, though we have launched these nano satellites before three years ago with the, is it ZA Cube, these small satellites. So talk to us about the significance of today's launch of these three nano satellites. Well, on the one hand, uh, thank you, Sally, is to demonstrate that uh, we can uh, launch, build, uh, and have our own satellites for the activities that we need for the country. This initiative started, uh, you would remember, when the South African government felt that uh, we could generate up to 180 uh, billion rands uh, out of uh, the oceans. And therefore, we needed to have eyes in the sky as well as other techniques of monitoring what's happening on the ocean. So this uh, MD uh, satellite constellation, therefore, uh, is a program that uh, has been ongoing, starting, as you indicated, with a demonstration uh, ZA Cube set, which was launched about two years ago, to see whether we can launch a satellite and to see whether a satellite can work. Uh, and that is still in orbit. However, this time uh, we are now ready to um, have three satellites that will be orbiting north-south. It's called a polar orbit. Uh, that will be then monitoring everything that's happening on our oceans. And the fact that it's a constellation means that when the other satellite is out of sight uh, of the ocean, the mm -hmm. other satellite comes into watching the oceans and so forth and so forth. And the significance of this, uh, which is your second part of the question, is that we now no longer need to buy this satellite from uh, service providers out of the country. All right. And so it we... also means that the money stays in South Africa. Jobs mm. are to make money. Yeah, and I understand that this was uh, done with the. Uh, University of Technology in Cape Town. Um, when are we going to see the first data? How much did it cost to build these three small satellites on board now? We are likely to see the first data in a couple of days. Um, the complexity of the launch, uh, Sally, is that after the satellite has been uh, removed from the launch vehicle that you are seeing on the screen, uh, it, it takes a couple of minutes, if you're lucky, to establish the communication between our ground station, uh, which is uh, at a CPUT and the satellite, or it could take a couple of hours because the satellite would be tumbling um, uh, up in the sky. And once you have established the communication, you can then begin to make sure that the satellite is in the orbit that uh, was allocated to South Africa. And then you can start to make sure that it points downwards because you need to take pictures and send them back to Earth. Uh, so we, as I say, hope that hopefully tomorrow or perhaps by the weekend, we should be able to see uh, the first set of pictures from the satellite. But as you can see, there is uh, uh, uncertainty around um, when you mm. establish the communication. Sure. So it'll take the a The second part of, of your question is, yeah, it cost uh, 27 million. Uh, 21 and a half to build the three uh, constellation and then uh, the rest of about 5 million was the cost of launching uh, that uh, uh, space exit to charge us. So about 27 million, right. uh, which is about 9 million per satellite, which is a very, very modest amount, we think. And a lot less than we would have paid if we had to get, uh, uh, get it all from overseas. But I have to ask, Elon Musk, as we know, is uh, South African. Did we get a discount on... Uh, the Falcon 9, <laughs> because we're South African? <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, we didn't get any satellite. We paid what any other 
uh, 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 sorry, any other uh, user who would like to have a payload on the satellite would have paid. I will probably continue to remind him of that uh, uh, relationship that he has with South Africa for other um, further launches because it's not the end of the launch with these three uh, CubeSats. We are also working on other programs which we are happy to share with you at an appropriate time. Very quickly, what are these satellites going to do? Is it, is it about monitoring illegal fishing uh, and the movement of vessels in our seas? Yes. What, what, what happens uh, with the satellite is two things. One is every ship that is on our oceans, by law, must have a transponder. So it's something that sends the signal from, uh, from the ship. And the uh, satellites, therefore, these are designed to have um, uh, if you like, receivers of uh, this uh, transmission that comes from these ships uh, on an ongoing basis. So if there is a ship that is on our oceans that doesn't have a, a transponder that is switched on, then the Coast Guard can then be alerted uh, by what we see from the satellite, that there's a ship in location X, Y, and Z that uh, we don't know, uh, is not on your register, please send the Coast Guard to go and ask why they are there. The second usefulness of the satellites is that you can take pictures of what's happening on your oceans, and therefore, for that, you are then, for instance, if there's a big oil speed, and you don't know who's responsible for the oil speed, because the satellite is taking pictures on an ongoing basis, you are now in a better position to pick up those oil spills, who is responsible, and if you have to uh, get that person to pay for the damages that have been done. And then thirdly, uh, in order to get a sense of your fish stocks, uh, you are then able to use the satellite to be able to monitor the fish stocks, fish stocks depending on the uh, the quality of the resolution of the pictures that you can take from the satellite. So this uh, is, is very, very useful uh, for mm. us to really make sure that the economics of uh, our maritime is in our control. Completely fascinating. Thank you so much for chatting to us this evening and congratulations, Dr. Phil Mjwaka, Director General of the Science and Technology Department.